Tucker Carlson, a very good guy, is exactly right. The number one reason the totally corrupt Biden administration and the sick Washington establishment are after me is because I stand up to their failed foreign policy agenda. The one thing Washington cannot forgive is that I put America first, always put America first. It never helped it. I have to do that in order to make America great again. I reject their foolish and disastrous foreign war, their horrific globalist trade deal, their open border catastrophe, their corruption of our intelligence system, and it's never been more corrupt, and all of the other betrayals of the American people. Most recently, the warmongers, globalists, and deep staters are absolutely livid that I refuse to bend the knee to their next endless war in Ukraine. I want peace. They want money and they want conflict, even if it means walking us into the brink of World War III, which, frankly, it is doing, and it's doing it rapidly. I want people to stop dying. I want to end that war. I'll end that war between those two countries in 24 hours. It won't even take that long. I will get the war ended. I'll stop all of those lives from being wasted and lost. And there'll be no more bombing of Ukraine. There'll be no more bombing of Russia. And everybody will be happy. That's why, despite the massive criminality and corruption of the Clintons, the Bidens, the Obamas, and all the rest, none of them ever get indicted or ever get investigated. They're totally protected by a fake and disgusting system. But I did everything right, and the system tries to throw me right into a jail. They can't beat me at the ballot box, so they're out there trying to take me out by other means. Anything they can think of, these people don't love our country. As I've said before, if I renounced my beliefs or if I stayed silent, the persecution would stop. If I didn't run for office or if I wasn't leading by a lot, it would all end and end very nicely. I'd have a much easier life. But I can't do that, and I won't do that. The fact is that we're leading by a lot because they're doing a bad job. We're leading Ron DeSanctimonious by 40 points, and we're leading Joe Biden by 10, 11, 12, by a lot. I'm going to take on all of the forces that are trying to destroy this country, and I'm going to win for you. On November 5th, 2024, justice will be done. Thank you very much.